So I'm back behind this pile. I don't even technically know where I'm supposed to bring it. It's like somewhere around. I had a backup right here. It's a small little area. It's literally like this size the whole way through the back. But I have to bring it over there somewhere. But I'm going to have to back down there and put it there. So I don't know. The way they explained it was a little weird, but I'll figure it out. They should have had the other guy do it, but I guess since I can speak English, I'm guessing they had me do it. I don't know. Cannot tell you why, but I'm not complaining. It is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. It's just small little area. And plus, I'm backing into the sun, as you can see. So backing into the sun kind of makes it crap see this whole area is not exactly uh how can i put it level it's all like bumpy see how i had a back up through here which was hell and then i have to bring it over there somehow i, I really don't know exactly where I had a backup right here in between this pile and this railing and boom but I don't know exactly if I'm supposed to dump like right here or if I'm supposed to back up a little bit like back there I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure yet because I mean all he said was go around the pile you know and he said there would be a loader which there is a loader back here but I don't know exactly if they want me to dump in this spot or back up a little bit more. I guess I'll figure it out in a second. Basically, they're right behind me, there's this like big hole. So basically, a straight up shot right there. I guess that's where I'm supposed to dump it at, which I'm cool with. A whole lot easier to do than what I'm doing, you know. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pull up this way and back around. The other guy, he got it easy. Because he's just uh, going over there where I was the other day that I showed you. And he's just getting dirt from over there and bringing it over to this pile right here in front of us. He's just dumping it there because that hole was up there, you know, so he can move the dirt and blah, blah, blah. But like I said, I didn't exactly know where I was supposed to go because, like, all the foreman said was to back it up around the pile and then I just see this big old trench and then I see the handrails I'm like I'm guessing he's talking about me backing up this little area right here between the handrails and the freaking pile but I'm not 100% sure so I asked the rubber tire which I, I've known I mean I've known the foreman, his brother, and uh, the rubber tire for a couple years. I mean, they're all they're all nice guys, but it's not like I work with them all the time. But finally, <clears throat> the older man came up and said, "Yeah, just back it all the way up." I was like, "All right." So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know how long I'm gonna do it for, because I'm guessing they need the dirt to backfill that little area, but I'm not 100 percent sure. It's kind of a long process. I'm still waiting. I mean, I have a, uh, a load now. I probably brought like, I don't know, six loads over there, if that. And it's already 1019, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not all that boring I mean I'm able to sit here and listen to YouTube or whatever but you know I'm cool with it it's almost lunch time but I've already technically ate my lunch I had um this pizza it was a pepperoni stuffed crust pizza from Little Caesars and yesterday I had the same thing but I had with it uh, eight piece wing. The eight piece wing wasn't too bad. I don't remember the flavor though. 
It kind of tastes almost like barbecue sauce, but I'm not 100% sure. Because it wasn't like any barbecue sauce that I've ever tasted. So, But the wings were okay. The only thing I will say since, I mean, I guess it's because since they were from Little Caesars, the drumsticks were like itty bitty miniature like drumsticks. So you can literally eat like one bite. The flats, they were just regular size flats. But it looks like they are taking a small walk behind, like remote control roller and rolling that area right there. So I guess after they're done rolling it, I guess I'm going to be dumping this load. I'm not sure. But like I said, I mean, that's kind of a small little area to back up into. I'm at the room now. I come to find out that uh, they took the dozer away. And I, the only reason why, from what my dad tells me, is because the uh, there's a guy that my dad ran off the job. They eventually fired him. And then... One of the superintendents hired him back. And then when they hired him back, the dozer was still open. And <clears throat> despite it being mine or, you know, me being on it, the super decided to put the guy that he just decided to hire back on the dozer. So, come on, Rocky. So, yeah, I'm pretty much on the truck <laughs> until whenever. Which, to be honest, I'm to that point where I just don't give a shit anymore. And, yeah. You know, because I'm tired of the truck, so... I'm just gonna just deal with it, you know? Until I can go somewhere else. Do something else. But like I said, we'll see. We'll see where life takes me, you know? Because... I'm tired of being on the truck, dude. But, oh well. Today we didn't do much, like I said. We just hauled a little bit of uh, that dirt in that area that I told you about. Other than that, there was nothing else that we really did. There was a lot of downtime today because, like I said, whenever it came to me, like in between loads it was just they didn't need dirt that much so there's a lot of downtime but that's the, what comes with the game whenever it comes to being on a truck you're gonna have to deal with a lot of downtime and that's just the way it is and yeah that could be pretty much with any equipment but I've learned with the truck that's especially how it is with the truck a lot of downtime. Tomorrow's Friday and payday, so I'm happy about that. 